Hi there. Today uh, I'm going to try to solve this problem and explain it to you. We are uh, be working. We're going to be working with moment of inertia with respect to two axes, uh, and we are going to be working by using integrals. So the first, the first one, uh, we have this equation for y equal x squared. And it says determine the moments of inertia of the shaded area. So this area about the x-axis, this is the x-axis, and the y-axis. First thing, remember the equation for moment of inertia. Moment of inertia is the integral of y squared dA, if it's i sub 0 x. Integral of OK. And for this uh, expression, if I'm going to use, I'm going to measure y, this is going to be my differential of area. This distance is dy, and this is my differential of area. Differential of area is the base, which is x times dy. So my differential of area is x times dy. And x is defined by this equation here. Let's see what happened with this focus. Yes, there you go. And x is, by, is defined by this equation. If I solve for x, x is going to be equal to the square root of 4y, which is equal to 2y to the 1 half. That's the value for x. So my differential of area is 2y to the 1 half differential of y. And then I plug this into my equation. And I can calculate I sub x equal this 2 from the differential of area. I'm going to copy it outside the equation. y squared. And then this other part, which is y to the 1 half differential of area. And then remember, if this is my differential of area, I have to go and I have to cover all the shape with this differential of area in this direction. That means that I need to know these are going to be my limits of integration. The first limit, of course, is going to be 0, from 0. And this other limit of integration here, this other point, I don't know. it. Usually people get freaked out when they see that part. Oh, I don't know that value. Yes, you do know that value because you have the equation. So y is equal to x squared divided by 4 by passing this term here. And then if I plug this value of 2, that's going to give me the height of y. So it's going to be 2 squared divided by 4, meaning y is going to be 1. So this value is going to be 1, from 0 to 1 from 0 to 1. And then you solve this integral. It's 2 times, this is y to the, this is 4 half plus 1 half is 5 half. dy, I'm sorry, this is not dA, this is dy. This is dy here. And when I solve for this, this is going to be equal to 2 times the, this is y to the 5 half plus 1 is 7 half divided by 7 half from 0 to 1. This is 4 seventh. 4 seventh y to the 7 half from 0 to 1, which gives us a value of, when you put the 1 here, this is going to be just 4 seven, and 4 seven is 0 0.5. 71 inches to the fourth. Remember the units, inches to the fourth. And that will be the moment of inertia with respect to x. Now, then we have to do the other part. The other part is moment of inertia with respect to uh, the other axis, with respect to the y-axis. Let me see if I have another of these statement problems. Yes, I have it here. Now, this is with respect to x. Now, let's do the moment of inertia with respect to y. Remember, we already calculated this value. This is 0 and this is 1. 
i sub y is going to be the integral of x squared dA. If I measure x, that means that I'm going to measure x in this direction, my differential of area, this is x, is going to be this one. This distance is dx, and this value is my differential of area, which is going to be dx times this value. Now, I don't know how much is this value, but I definitely know how much is this distance. Because for every point that I have in this, in this uh, equation, I'm going to have the coordinates x, y, defined by this equation here. So basically, if I know this height, y, that y is going to be equal to x squared divided by 4 from this equation, and I know the total distance from here to here, which is 1. So what I'm looking for is this. That value is going to be the total distance, which is 1, minus the distance up to the base, which is y. So that is going to be 1 minus y. And y is this. So basically, that differential of area is going to be 1 minus y times dx, 1 minus y, because remember, this is 1 and this is y. The distance that I'm looking for is this one. 1 minus y times dx multiplied by dx, 1 minus y times dx, and y is this, so it's going to be 1 minus x squared divided by 4 dx. I put this into this equation. And then my i sub y is going to be the integral of x squared times 1 minus x squared divided by 4 dx. From, now my differential of area is going in this way. I have to cover the whole section with that differential of area from this point to that point. That means from 0 to 2. The integral of x squared dx from 0 to 2 minus separating this into integrals x to the 4 divided by 4 dx from 0 to 2. Now this here, this part is x cubed divided by 3 from 0 to 2 minus this other part which is x to the 5th and then in the denominator I'm going to have another 5 down, 5 times 4 is 20, from 0 to 2, and that gives me 2 to the a 3 divided by 3 minus 2 to the 5th divided by 20, and the value for i sub y is 1.06 periodic inches to the 4th. That's a really easy problem, but in that problem, uh, basically we are covering how to calculate the moment of inertia with respect to x and y for that uh, type of integral. I hope that you enjoy this video, and I hope to see you again in the next one, which is going to be a continuation of the same problem.